Greetings pilgrims and hikers, I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel dedicated to hiking, backpacking, and the Camino de Santiago. If you are into that kind of stuff, I would really appreciate it if you would just click that bright red subscribe button. And keep in mind that you won't get any alerts or any kind of updates unless you also click that bell. Let's get to it. Today I wanna to talk about how to do the Camino for $300. Let's say a buddy of yours calls you up and says, hey, my Camino partner just got a new job. They can't go with me. I've got a spare ticket. Do you want to go with me? What if I was about a week out from my Camino and all my stuff was lost? Stolen, lost in a fire, whatever. What would I do if I had $300 and one day to resupply myself for the Camino? I'm basically assuming that my backpack and everything in it is gone. But I would still have a phone, which means I would still have a camera, still have a charger. Even when I am packed for my Camino, my shoes are on me. And you probably have a pair of shoes already that would get you through the Camino if you really needed to. So I didn't include a phone or shoes in this thought experiment. Although this is definitely a very budget Camino, I wasn't gonna buy crap. Everything in this video has either been something that I have personally experienced and can attest to, or something that someone that I really trust believes in, or that has a decently high rating, either on Amazon or Walmart or wherever I found it. And finally, just in case I get some people that are being a little picky about my $300 target, there were a couple of times that I divided multi-packs in half to get the desired number of items I wanted, and I did cut the price in half in those instances. It didn't really make that much of a difference. And then finally, when it came to clothing, ladies, obviously there's some things you're gonna need that I'm not going to, Everyone's gonna probably be a slightly different size, but just for consistency's sake, I just went with a men's large anytime I needed to pick a size for clothing. Okay, so the first thing I thought about was the new backpack, and this was one of the harder decisions to make because I'm used to looking at pretty quality stuff, and it was kind of weird suddenly going down into the like under $50 range for a backpack, but obviously on a $300 budget, you're not gonna be able to blow yourself out with an Osprey or something nice like that. I did manage to find a backpack for under $50 called the Nevo Rhino. It is a 40 liter pack, which is pretty much you know the perfect Camino average size. It weighs in at three pounds, which is definitely not anywhere near the ultralight range, but it's a decently lightweight pack for 40 liters. It's an internal frame, it's got a back mesh and an included rain cover, which saves you about 20 bucks right there. And importantly, this backpack is only 21 inches tall, which means it's gonna fit as standard carry-on. Pretty soon I'm gonna be dropping a video on dealing with airports and airlines with your backpacking gear. But I thought that for this loadout, it would be cool if everything would fit in a pack that you could take on the plane without having to check it. All right, so at this point, I've got about $251 left. Let's see what is next. Regardless of whether you're carrying a big backpack, a small day pack, a fanny pack, whatever, you really should have your most important valuables like your passport, credit cards, cash, that sort of thing uh, with you at all times, if not on you at all times. The Alpha Keeper Money Belt is $18. It is water resistant, which means you can take it in bathrooms with you, toss it on the sink when you're taking a shower, not have to worry about what's inside. It's also RFID protected. This is a good way to go. The next item was trekking poles. Now for some people, this is something of a luxury, but I just went ahead and put it in my standard loadout. And I went with Cascade Mountain Tech. This is a $20 set of trekking poles. Now that is ridiculously cheap if you know very much about trekking poles, but I have discovered that there is actually a large number of companies out there producing pretty darn good trekking poles that are very inexpensive. And I just kind of cycled through until I found one of the least expensive ones that still had a decent rating. They're 10 and a half ounces. They're aluminum. It's a little heavier than carbon, but it's a lot tougher. They have a cork grip, EVA foam extension grips, and they are a quick lock rather than a twist adjustment. So these pretty much hit all of my preferred features and materials, and they only run you at 20 bucks. Okay, now it's time to hit the albergue, hit the bunk bed, and go to sleep. What are you gonna bring with you? I started off with something that I am actually bringing on my Camino, and that is the Ozark Trail sleeping bag liner. 
it's eight dollars and 88 cents now if you have shopped these things you know that is extremely inexpensive obviously on a budget of 300 dollars, there's no way i'm dropping 80 or 90 bucks on a sleeping bag liner but the ozark trail sleeping bag liner it weighs 11 ounces it's polyester it's a rectangular bag nothing special but it's under $10. A lot of people just bring those and they kind of rely on the albergues for blankets and things, but all it's gonna take is one night where an albergue doesn't supply you with a nice blanket or something, and you could be pretty miserable the next day. The $28 Leisure Company Ultra Portable Outdoor Camping Blanket. It's 22 ounces. It's a synthetic fill, so you don't have to worry about the problems that can be experienced with a down blanket or other down products. But it's not terribly heavy, it's under 30 bucks, so we are still well within budget. Along with the sleeping bag liner for me, I'm gonna have a liner for my pillow, namely a pillowcase. And for this, I went with the Shop Bedding Luxury Satin Pillowcase. It's eight bucks, but the nice thing about satin is not only is it comfortable, it's going to kind of naturally repel bed bugs. The final item in any Camino sleep kit, absolutely, without question, non-negotiable, earplugs. I found six pairs of silicone earplugs designed for swimmers for four bucks by a company called Yung Chang, so I threw those in there too. And we're gonna keep the bed bugs away from all of this sleeping gear and even our backpack with permethrin. Sawyer product sells permethrin for six bucks. We're gonna spray this on the liner, blanket, pillowcase, and the backpack, and that should do it for bed bug problems. And that brings us to hydration and hygiene. The obvious choice for a budget-minded Camino Pilgrim for water carry is just picking up a smart water bottle. These things weigh barely over an ounce, and for two bucks, the water is included. Now, typically these come in a one liter size, but here's a pro tip. Get the 700 milliliter bottles and they come with a really cool cap that is a flip and drink cap that doesn't come on the one liter bottles. So you can either use the one liter as storage and the smaller one to drink out of, or just switch the caps. Now, as far as hygiene, for decades, hikers and backpackers have sworn by Dr. Bronner's all-in-one soap. You can get four ounces of this stuff for six bucks, it's soap, it's shampoo, it's laundry detergent, it's everything in one. It's already in liquid form, so there's no mess, no having to carry around a little tin box or sticking it in a plastic bag and leaving it open so that it dries out. And it's quite good for the environment as well. Okay, when it comes to toothbrushes, yeah, hopefully you already have one and probably a new one is back up in your house. And if you're really concerned about the weight, you can always cut the handle off or something. However, for only $2.95, you can get a complete toothbrush kit from Z-Packs that weighs in at under one ounce. It's a great little kit, and for three bucks, I think it is well worth the purchase. All right, once you've showered, it's time to get out and dry off, and here is where we come to the fabled microfiber towel. These things can be pretty expensive, and especially if you run out to REI or some other kind of camp outfitter, they will happily sell you a microfiber towel for 20 or more dollars, but guess what? The Four Monster Microfiber Towel is light, it's large, it's quick dry, it even comes with the attachment loop, except this one only is gonna run you 11 bucks. Okay, now assuming that you already own a phone and that's what you're bringing with you on your Camino, that's also going to serve as your camera, flashlight, GPS, maps, Camino apps, you name it, this phone is gonna get some heavy use. You've absolutely gotta be able to recharge it. Now, although you probably already have a charger and everything, it's not gonna plug directly into the outlets in Spain. And that is why you need an adapter. The Epica International Wall Charger Power Plug Adapter weighs 3.5 ounces. It will work in Spain and it comes with not only a standard plug type, you know, three or two prong, but it also has dual USB, which may be all you need if you're just charging up your phone. This little sucker only costs nine bucks. Okay, it's time to talk clothing. While there's a good chance that you've got a lot of good, comfy clothing at home, most of it is probably not very well suited to hiking or walking the Camino. Namely, you don't want anything made of cotton. Further, you're gonna want some kind of rain gear. For rain gear, I went with the tried and true Frog Togs Ultralight 2 rain suit. This is a favorite of through hikers. It's one of my favorites. It is one of the least expensive and lightest weight rain suits on the market. For 17 bucks, you get the jacket and pants. The whole thing weighs in at 12 ounces and it is 100% waterproof. Now the frog togs are not made out of the most breathable fabric in the world. Are they going to perform as well as a $900 Arcteryx jacket? No. 
Are they gonna be good enough for the Camino where you're gonna pretty much be kind of wet and sweaty anyway? Oh yeah. Now for clothing, the same rule applies. We don't want cotton. We want things that are light. We want things that quick dry. Now fortunately, that does not require getting some kind of super high-tech alien technology clothing. Basically, if you avoid cotton and you stick to sports store kind of clothing, you're gonna be fine. I found a Reebok Performance t-shirt for 10 bucks, lightweight, wicking, quick dry. I also found a long sleeve button up that is ventilated with a mesh back, provides sun protection, also quick dry. This one right here, 22 bucks. For pants, I really like the zip offs, which can convert from pants into shorts. The Linlon hiking pants, $23. They're water resistant, they're quick dry, and they have the convertible zip off legs. If you just wanna go with some really lightweight shorts, for nine bucks, you can get Russell Men's Core Performance Active Shorts. Again, lightweight, wicking, quick dry. All right, when it comes to footwear, we're gonna want some socks that are also going to have the same properties as the clothing we've been looking at, the Saucony Competition Low Cut Socks. Quick dry, wicking. Importantly, they have arch support and a smooth toe seam, which is gonna help prevent blisters and discomfort. Personally, I am a big fan of the Injinji toe socks. They can be used by themselves or as a liner. I was willing to go a little bit higher priced here because if you don't take care of your feet, nothing else is really gonna matter on the Camino. You can get two pairs of these socks for 26 bucks. And basically what these do is they're like a glove for your feet. It keeps your toes separated. That keeps you from getting friction blisters. These are quick dry wicking arch support, smooth toe seam, all that good stuff that you want with hiking socks. And then we gotta talk underwear. You can get Hanes Cool Comfort Long Leg Boxer Briefs. The longer leg is nice because it can help prevent chafing. These have a breathable mesh, so they are quick dry, wicking, all right, so we have come to the end of the $300 budget. I feel like we've got some pretty good stuff so far. I could definitely do the Camino with the things that I have purchased so far. But what if I had just a little tiny bit more money, 10% more than what you've got now. What would I do with an extra 30 bucks? There are some maybe luxury items that I think would be really helpful for the Camino. So if I had 30 more dollars, here's how I would spend it. Number one, I would pick up a buff. This is just one of the greatest hiking accessories that has ever been invented. I've got a whole video just on it. You can get one for about seven bucks. Next, I would look into a fanny pack. It's nice to have things like your phone, maps, snacks, easily accessible where you don't have to stop and take your backpack off to get them. You can get a, the Blue Sky Basics waterproof pouch and it is actually waterproof for six bucks. And then finally a headlamp. These can be really handy when you're getting ready to leave in the morning if you're leaving before the sun rises. They can also be very handy for hiking either again early morning or late at night. Even if you can see well enough that you don't need a flashlight to see where you're going, other people and cars and bikes may not be able to see you. For $7, you can get the Vaunt Spark headlamp. It weighs 3.2 ounces, it's water resistant, it's got a triple light level brightness and a red light that you can use to save your night vision and not bother other sleepers while you're getting ready. And then finally, a sun hat. For people like me that burn really easily, Having a full coverage hat is nice. You can get the Connectile Outdoor Large Brim Fishing Hat for $13. Uh, believe it or not, even if you're not doing a super low budget Camino, there are several of these items that you might want to go with anyway. I know for me, I wish I would have found some of these earlier because I definitely would have swapped them out for the gear that I purchased when I initially just went in and started dropping money on stuff uh, based on the budget that I thought I would need. All right, I hope this video has helped. If it has, again, would you mind subscribing to the channel? Click that bell notification if you would like to know when new videos drop. Until next time, I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim. Boy Camino.